Hello everybody, um, had a good day today. I got my jewel thieves in from um, Hong Kong. What a jewel thief is, it takes voltage and it multiplies it up. I read about it in the um, on the internet and found the circuits and invested a lot of money on transistors and toroids and wire capacitors. Never could make one that would work. I won't tell you how much I spent on this project as far as to make these because I was totally amazed as to how um, neat it was because it would, it would allow you to use the voltages that you can get from trees and actually boost it up to usable voltages. Um, as I indicated um, in some of my YouTubes on tree power, that you can get no, let's say a half a volt or so out of a uh, tree. I was charging electrolytic capacitors and um, let's see, that works a little better. Yeah, you could um, charge electrolytic capacitors and if you put enough of them in series after you charge them, you could get usable voltages. But that's a lot of labor and actually you could make a device, I guess, that would um, mechanically connect the capacitors in series after they were charged in, in parallel and then have them charge another capac set of capacitors and store the higher voltage. But um, that, was, that would be cumbersome. And um, I wonder if you really had the power potential to do it. Um, so after unsuccessfully and making various circuits, winding various coils on all sides of toroids. I was never able to get uh, one of these things to oscillate. And the circuit basically called to light up um, an LED, which I can't really find here right now, but yeah, there's an LED. Um, the purpose was to light up LEDs. There's, um, where is that here? LED, LED, LED. I'll keep it still. There's an LED. And the purpose was to light these things up with um, with a one and a half volt battery. Most of them will not ignite at one and a half volts. So I proceeded in, in buying all kinds of capacitors and transistors, and resistors, toroids, wire. And that result is nothing worked. So I remember that I bought a, um, a device for my telephone, my cell phone, my trusty cell phone, and um, and the device, which this is the device, where is it, this is ridiculous, okay, there we go, it takes a one and a half volt battery, double A, and it plugs into it plugs into a, a cell phone. This is my cell phone lit up, and the thing's actually charging. I don't know if you can see the um, the light blinking red. Yeah, you can see it. See it blinking red? That means it's charging. And this is from an old battery that was in my um, digital camera that really wasn't working too well, and it was near the end of its life. But it's still charging the um, cell phone. It's actually putting out about six volts from one and a half volts. So that's a multiplier of four to one. So the question in my mind was, at what point will this circuit actually start working and producing a multiple of the, the voltage? And I was able to put a, a variable resistor on the inputs of this unit here took the back off and took the front off and this is the output and the input is right here one of the um, one of the wires is connected to the case which is ground the other wire is connected to the point where the positive part of the battery would actually start to um, um, charge this thing and I found using a, a variable resistor on the, what the, hell is it? the variable resistor on the input voltage that I could get down to about 
oh, 0.35 volts, and I was um, generating about 1.5 volts on the other end. And that's kind of the voltage they said that uh, would trigger the Joule Thief circuit, which if you look up Joule Thief, you'll see tons and tons of circuit. The neat thing about this is that the circuit is extremely, extremely small. I mean, this thing, there it is. It's on the end of, uh, see if I can get it to move it up. Keep it still. This is it. This is it. It's incredible. I hope I can... So I hope you can see that. Nothing there. Now I bought these in, in quantity for about a buck sixty each on eBay. Um, and I'm very excited about it. And when I get a chance, if I ever get back to uh, Tawanda, I want to run some experiments on my trees and see if we can actually charge a, a NICAD battery. When I, um, I, I have done some tests, as you'll see in the other YouTubes I have on tree power, that it looks like the prospects of getting any appreciable power is really, really unlikely. Um, you would need forests of trees to generate a kilowatt. It would take about a year, I think, to uh, generate a kilowatt. There's a gentleman, if you look up this tree power thing, he's trying to, I guess, get a bunch of investors to invest in this technology. But the good news is that uh, there are circuits, and I have one, that will take the power that's available, low voltage that's available from um, a tree, or you know, very low-tech batteries, and many batteries produce about a half a volt per cell, and actually uh, amplify that voltage, multiply the voltage into something usable. Now, in the case of batteries, you can always put a bunch of them in series. Um, so how this would help that, that's, that's one issue. But as far as taking a plentiful source of uh, voltages that are from um, these things, these are the um, thermo generators. So it's got a whole bunch of these in today. I got 10 of them, I think, in. Um, they produce with boiling hot water on one side and cold water on the other side, they might produce a half a volt each. I'm trying to determine the upper limits of temperature. That's when they start really putting out some voltage. But using these, you could take a couple of these and actually run an MP3 player or something using the, the Joule Jewel, the Jewel, uh, Thief um, circuit. So look on eBay on these Joule Thieves. Like I said, I bought 10 of them. Um, they came in from Hong Kong, I guess. Um, in a metal case. I mean, who, who the hell, how the hell do they do it? It is totally amazing. It's scary. But it's a very interesting circuit. And rather than do what I did and spend <laughs> probably a hundred, hundred fifty, two hundred dollars $200 on getting enough parts to mass produce these, these things, they seem too good be, to be true to the point where I wonder if, it, if this was just a spoof. But then I remember the, um, this uh, thing that I bought for my cell phone when I was traveling up from um, Albuquerque up to Iowa on a, on a bus and I always had to, I found that was running low on um, batteries. These are great to have for your cell phone. They come with all the adapters for your cell phone and, um, and like I said they will take dead batteries and produce usable voltages for other type of things even recharging other say Nikod batteries. So when you throw out that old battery uh, it will definitely be devoid of most of its potential to produce electricity. So that's, uh, that's really wild. In fact, you probably could put a couple of these old batteries in series and get enough voltage to run the thing again. I uh, did a whole um, bunch of YouTubes on used batteries that you might want to check out too. Uh, but that was before I discovered um, the potential of this, of this type of device, which is, um, which is really amazing. I don't know, you know what the uh, load it will take, but it does definitely charges up the... Um, the cell phone. So worst case scenario, you'll have a backup on for your cell phone. So that's about it. Um, catch you all later. Bye-bye.